So you there know what? The only school in this Final Four that's won a national championship is Michigan State. Yeah. That one wants yeah. is 2000. Yeah. yeah. So. so, you know what? People who get bitter about it, like Colin said, kick rocks. They can be bitter. You know, Duke, they tried so hard to rig the game against Michigan State. They, didn't notice <laughs> they, called, so did. they called so few fouls on Michigan State <laughs> yeah. that when Duke had to foul, they, they had, had one to had give, had, yeah. and they couldn't shoot free throws. No, they had like, it's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's part of our conspiracy theory series coming up in NCAA sports. They had to foul again. You know, Duke, apparently. You got all these five like four fouls. R.J. Yeah. Barrett, top five pick, future NBA superstar. Can't make a free throw. Can't guard someone on an inbounds pass and stay close enough to foul him. Couldn't make free throws, man. Oh, Cassius God. Winston defied the transcendent talent of R.J. Barrett by Dribbling. faking one way yeah. and running the other. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the one that they teach you over in intramurals, well, I mean, it? it's... God, those people like that just make me it's a good transition. So into my it, is a good right, yeah, it is a good one. It is a good one. I was about to say, I was thinking the entire time during the Duke game how last week Colin said Coach K is the most overrated college basketball coach of all time. Did I say that? You did you say did. that. You definitely One did. of the most. You 100% did. We'll say one of the most, so I won't say most. You know, it's kind of like uh-huh. an accuracy thing uh, that we're going for. But, yes, Colin, it is that time. There's five minutes left. It's time to roast, I assume. There's only one something. loser of the week here. Oh, uh, we knew who it was. It's not a person. Ooh. It. The loser of the week they, is one and done. Ooh, one I like and done. I like How many whole... one and done prospects are in this Final Four? Zero. The best NBA draft prospects in this Final Four are Jarrett Culver, a sophomore from Texas Tech, and DeAndre Hunter from Virginia. The best players in this Final Four are not one and dones. What does that tell you? Was I tell you all these Georgia fans listening? We got they're like, oh, Tom Crean. They, he's got all these great freshmen next year. Book the Final Four trip in Atlanta. No, it ain't about the freshmen. You got to have the complimentary pieces to get you over the top. Duke had Zion Williamson, R.J. Barrett on the same team, and they couldn't get to the Final Four. Why? Because they didn't have any good complimentary pieces to go with them. You got to have those guys. Those guys are the glue. Who who are going to be the stars of this Final Four? Who beat Duke? Cassius Winston drag a, yeah. drag a decimated roster in Michigan State. Injuries everywhere. Put throw him on his back. Took him there. That ain't one and done. That's experience. And I know I sound like an old guy. Like, oh, got to have experience. Yeah, I'm, the old, I'm the old guy here. I love fundamentals. I love fundamentals. No, I don't love fundamentals. These guys are great <laughs> basketball players. Jared Culver is probably going to be a top five pick in the draft. DeAndre Hunter's going in the top ten. These guys are going to have NBA careers. It's not all about the one and done. Duke, where you at? Kentucky, where you at? I don't see it. When's the last time Duke or Kentucky was in the Final Four? It was 2015. That's the last time either one of them was in the Final Four. Okay, I was going to make a comment about how Cassius Winston is the new, um, not Perry Mason. What was that guy's name? Perry, Perry Ellis. Ellis, not Perry Mason. Perry Mason's the detective Cassius, or whatever. He's this, a junior. A whole other, have, have I had this discussion with y'all? Cassius also, Winston, I don't believe so. I'm going way off track with the loser of the week, but okay. I guess this ties in. No. Stop this. Stop this. Every senior in college basketball – this guy's a senior. Oh, we got a senior. Fans. Oh, dude, what's that guy been there? 50 years? Okay, no, he's no. been there four, because that's how long you play college athletics. <laughs> Eggheads. <laughs> this needs to stop. Like, oh, man, it feels like this guy's been here for 30 years. No, he's been here for four. He's a senior. He's a college senior. Okay. That's how it works. Well, but, but Cassius it. Winston is a junior, Jeff. That's what I was going to say. And what, what's he been here? There, 20 years ago? That's my down point. A little bit. It feels like he's been there forever, but he's only a junior. Stop that's this. my point. End one and done. Just let high school kids go in there. They don't have to listen to this mess anymore. Well, one and done's. Losers one and done's. <laughs> losers. I mean, on a side note, could you that's imagine? Right. Losers this week. Could no you Final Four. Imagine what a Final Four in Atlanta with Georgia would be like. That would be, that would, that would be wild. Would it? That would be that, bananas. Like, but you it's not gonna, the other, right, it's not going to happen. Claxton like, stays, you'll, you'll probably have it. you got Claxton, you got Jordan Harris. See, George, George will have those pieces. But everyone getting excited like, oh, we got the big freshman. Four, Punch yeah. the Final Four ticket. Punch it's not it. all about them. One and done. That's what I've been saying since the One very first week of this show. When we were talking about Tom Crean's recruiting. It ain't about the blue chip freshman. you got to get guys that are going to stay and sustain. And this Final Four shows that. So... Duke and Kentucky, no Final Fours between the two of them since 2015. Okay, Duke won the national championship that year. Good. They had a great team. Jaleel Okafor, Justice Winslow, Tyus Jones, I believe, was the, the freshman trio there. You know, they had the complimentary pieces to put them over the top. Was, wasn't was Emil Jefferson on that team? Mm, then, I think so. So, yeah. Other than was, that, although, was he hurt, though? He was hurt a lot. He, he was hurt, like, all the time. Yeah. I, I believe he was healthy by the end of the year. Yeah, maybe. Um, but, yeah. So, 